What is going on everybody? Another video back up. Uh, it's been a while, probably several months if not longer. I apologize about the delay. Just been pretty busy with a number of other things which everyone else says. And I think the other thing that's kind of prevented videos which I've seen across the board is uh, Instagram over the past year. It's just so much easier obviously to post something quickly, a picture or that 15 second vid and now I think it's up to a minute vid that you can do on there to show the new piece that you got in, give a quick look at it and be done with it, then do the whole video setup, which in my case, sometimes I have to do it in different rooms or move stuff around. And obviously that, you know, kind of persuades you not to do it at that point. Uh, but the nice thing is I've been reading a lot of uh, different comments about videos and kind of did different things for the setup. So number one is gloves. We are doing black gloves today. I know uh, in the past you guys have seen me do vinyl ones, clear ones, uh, latex ones, and then blue nitrile. A lot of people said it's kind of distracting, they don't like it. Um, but I like using the gloves because I don't like getting fingerprints on the blades, obviously, when I'm doing the video. And I don't like also, uh, if there's anodizing done on it, to be handling it for 10, 12, 15 minutes or so, and then just kind of diminishing the colors on it during the vid at least you can see it how it is uh, in all its glory so trying these out so this is the jake hoback a15 i got this a while ago I, I really don't remember exactly the date that i got this but this was his last run of these and i haven't done a video in a while so it's a minute and a half and i haven't opened it up for you i know that gets annoying for some people they want to see the blade and the action right away so that they can pretty much tune out after that uh, but this knife I am extremely pleased with. I know a number of other guys that got these and everyone seems to be pretty happy with them. There's obviously videos out there already, but I kind of wanted to give you my impressions on it, what I thought about it, and the process as I always do. So with this, it came in this uh, leather pouch. Pretty nice uh, that Jake did for this run of these. And that was about it. So you got the knife in the pouch and, and that's... That's the story there. So we'll get the pouch out of the way. So this is obviously titanium frames. And then the inlay that I chose was the G10. And it's the kind of OD green color here is what I'd say. The olive color, olive drab, obviously. Uh, so when I originally ordered this and I got in on the last run of these, obviously before you stopped doing the, the full customs of these, the options were to get the blade, I believe, either blasted, sandblasted, and stone washed, and I believe that was it. Those are the two options on that. The steel kind of changed, I think, throughout as far as what it was going to be. They kind of he kind of listed on his website and, and told me over email like one or one of three different types it most likely was going to be. It ended up being CPM S90V, which I was very pleased with because I didn't have any blades in that steel, and it seems to be a very high, well-regarded steel. You know, obviously one of the more super steels out there, if you want to call it that. And then as far as the finishes go on here, uh, this was going to be titanium. And he kind of left a lot of, like, the inlays, because it was originally a custom, uh, up to you as far as what you want it to be. So originally when I ordered this, I asked for it to be a gold anodized titanium. We'll do some close-ups here while we're waiting. Uh, with a blue G10 inlay which he said would work well. Uh, I kind of asked about some other colors and they weren't available. I think I asked for a purple or something and uh, it wasn't there. So he said, yeah, blue will, blue will work fine. There we go, got that zoomed in. And then as time went by and different runs were going on and he see, you know, he obviously realized how extremely busy he was. He had the Quayback Mid-Tech run occur during uh, the time period before this knife. And there's obviously uh, some delay issues from his machine shop with that, uh, which he definitely took care of, rectified, and communicated extremely well to everyone that got those, myself including, included. Uh, he realized that he couldn't be giving all these different options to everybody. He wouldn't have enough different materials on hand and it would slow up, obviously, the uh, the work that he had to do. So he sent out an email, I think, when it got close to everyone getting their knives, that, hey, for inlays, there's only three options. There was black G10, OD, green G10, or carbon fiber. Uh, and I understand that. And it was disappointing. I, I wish that I could have gotten the blue uh, with the full gold, but he said it pretty much was going to be bronze with this... Uh, you know, stone washed finish only on the titanium handles. A little smudge there. And then 
the three different types of either two different colors of G10 or carbon fiber. So because of that, I decided that I figured most people were gonna pick carbon fiber uh, or black. It's obviously more popular, uh, more tactical, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and I have enough knives with carbon fiber on them and I have enough knives that are in black already. So I thought I'd go with the OD Green G10 and I like it. I think it actually looks pretty well against the bronze here. Um, not crazy contrast, but just enough on there. And then this, the blade you can see is in this acid stone wash. That's what it was. It was stone wash, blasted stone wash, and then acid uh, blasted stone wash. So that's obviously what this is on the finish here. Came very sharp out of the packaging. I'll show you the uh, blade here if it'll focus. A nice edge all the way across. Very thick piece of steel on here. Great action with the HRD, the Hoback Rolling Detent. The nice thing was he, if you wanted a verse on the knife, like your own personal verse, uh, he would do that for you. So I asked for 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8. That's my favorite verse in the Bible. And then on the, around the pivot area, he put on all of these, Psalm 25, and then Hoback. I'm having a lot of trouble focusing here. Maybe these gloves aren't the best ones to use, or the camera just hasn't made a video in a while, so it doesn't remember how to focus on things. Uh, everything else on here, lovely. Uh, the standard, you know, hoback pocket clip, thick piece there, very great retention. The other thing, which I don't know if you guys will be able to see, the actual blade steel is written in here. Let me get a flashlight out and see if we can get that lit up. Focus in. Uh, right there, it says uh, CPM S90V. So uh, in case you guys weren't sure, that's a nice way to identify what the blade steel is on there. But you can see excellent action on this knife, beastly knife in the hand. Uh, I really like this A15, and maybe I can back this up a little bit so you guys can see. Nope, it zoomed out all the way. <laughs> Should put it up higher. But you can see, fits in the hand very nicely. Uh, the choil becomes a nice finger guard on here. Uh, I like the little cutout on there as well. Excellent action. You can see, very smooth. I'm gonna to to keep this video under 10 minutes, hopefully, because it's my first one back. And I know that you guys have probably seen this knife on a few other channels, just wanted to give you my impressions and the experience with it. In regards to the experience, like I said, this there was a little bit of delay on getting this, but Jake kept in constant communication, uh, at least with myself, I'm sure with everybody else. Um, he did some public communications on it too through his YouTube channel. And plus, because there was other batches going on, the Quebec batch, the A8 batch before this, you knew exactly where you were in line because you saw, okay, the Quebecs have finally finished, uh, the eight, eight have finally finished. I know my A15s are up next. He showed the progress there. So there was never any worry as far as, oh, am I gonna get the knife, where it's at? And he gave great progress reports and it was delivered uh, when it said it was gonna be delivered as far as when he sent the shipping out on it. Uh, came in the leather packaging, obviously, and it has obviously the markings on it here. The first I requested, the blade steel, and came with what the uh, new modified options were for the knife. So very happy. In regards to Jake himself, uh, stand-up guy, I actually got to meet him at the East Coast Custom Knife Show this past year when he came out. And I know a lot of people on the East Coast, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, um, New York area, were very happy they came out uh, because a lot of people were looking forward to meeting him. Uh, got to chat with him a little bit and just an excellent guy. I think he definitely was the highlight of the show for people to go and talk to. He definitely seemed to be the most popular around, and I think everyone's just excited to finally meet him and talk to him and check out all the new stuff that he's doing too. He, you know, he obviously has a, a number of new projects going on, um, different types of Quaybacks coming out, uh, special uh, editions of different things. But I was just very pleased to get on you know, the last run of these full custom A15s. I really wish at this point now that I had gotten or was able to have gotten an A8 because uh, I really love the feel of that knife. I think, especially over the last year, I've been able to identify what size is best for me. And while I love these larger knives, I really think that three and a half inch blade size is the right one for me and what I just enjoy the most. This is very cool. I'll give you some size comparisons. 
Here's my mid tech way back from the very first run there. And we'll set that here so you can see that. So you can see lengthwise almost right on right spot on, but this one definitely just feels beefier. I'll show these here. So you can see a little bit wider. I like this full backspacer on here. I like the standoffs on this one too. Um, you know, I can go either way as far as a look on these. I, I kind of like sticking with the backspacers on this one, but having a full or almost full uh, backspacer versus the standoffs here was really nice. Obviously the extended uh, lanyard hole for this. But just so you can see those. And then a uh, different comparison. Here's another four inch blade, Brass Blades T4. And if I've said something wrong in this video, it's my first one back. I apologize, guys. Uh, I kind of feel like I've been speaking really fast as well, just trying to get in all the information. And I haven't done one of these YouTube vids in a while, so I apologize for mispronouncing something, misstating something. But I did want to get these videos going and get back in the groove of things here. And then finally, what I kind of see is more of the size knife that I've become comfortable with and I've realized I like the most. Here's the... Uh, Zero Tolerance 801, and we'll put that at the bottom so you can see the difference in size here. There you go. So, uh, that pretty much wraps it up on that one. I'm gonna try and keep it, like I said, under that, uh, well, I'm already 11 minutes, so maybe try to keep it under 13 minutes on this one. But. Really love this knife, very glad I got it. Uh, wish that I had got, been able to get in on an A8 as well, because I think that would have been a, a perfect size for me. And fit and finish, excellent. Uh, I'll try to do slower and better close-ups as the next videos come along, but did want to get the information on this one out, and probably need to get some better lighting in here too. Uh, but just so you can see that on here, huge flipper tang the backspacer, the G10, the pivot, and that action again. Just excellent. All right, so hope that covers that. If I forgot anything, I'll maybe try to bring this knife back in another video and as a different size comparison and maybe make any points I forgot about it on that. But other than that, enjoy your day, evening, and I will catch you guys later.